but what is my experience in, in transition, uh, it's somehow uh, difficult to explain because I have turned uh, six, I will turn 62 this year, and uh, I came to the Council of Europe when I was 50. And this was my only stable job in my life. So I, ha I was able to buy an apartment and have some vision of the future after 50 years old. But before 50, I was changing jobs, uh, situations, countries, and positions. And uh, somehow, I had to manage, as most of the people, I think, in the, in the conference room, the precariousness of, uh, uh, of uh, the freedom of choice. It was somehow compulsory for uh, certain personal reasons, but, but, uh, but as well, the choice to be free to learn, to choose what you want to do in life, and, but of course, you are never able to choose everything. But there are circumstances in life, you know, meeting people that leads you to paths that you haven't thought before, but suddenly it becomes like a open door, a new opportunity, and it's important to engage yourself even if it takes some risks. So I am not the good pattern of an international civil servant because uh, I haven't started my career here. And I'm uh, always seeking uh, uh, on the future as uh, something else. And beyond the Council of Europe, beyond what is my role today that I love, of course, I love my job. I love bringing different types of intelligences together. This is something that I have done. Maybe it is the only um, a logical field conductor. I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, leading uh, thread? The, yes, know, leading thread. Uh, guiding line. The guiding li gui uh, line of my life is that I love to put different types of intelligences to work together. And I think the synthesis, it is always beautiful. It's much more uh, uh, deeper and, uh, and complex than the answer and the solution you can find by yourself for any type of, of, of problem, issue, or whatsoever. So, but uh, I had, and I shared uh, uh, with the audience the hardship of precariousness, and I know exactly what is it about it, to refrain y yourself from certain things or choices, but at the same time, I think you people uh, in transition, you are lucky enough to have uh, this uh, uh, networking approach because it helps you to make choices without having to give up the multiplicity of knowledge and curiosity you have. So I think uh, uh, you have nowadays a tool that we, d we, we didn't have when I was 20. And so choices always involved giving up something, you know. But now you can have a job and have the capacity of uh, 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 engage in conversations and exchanges in, in, in the multiplicity of fields. So I, I think uh, it is true that uh, you are in a difficult position as a generation, but as well I think uh, in a very somehow exciting environment. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, that's true, that's exciting. Uh, I was. Uh, I also wanted to ask about your experience of this event, this particular event, because you were really involved in uh, in the process. And I, I, I think uh, uh, there are, you know, because I'm I'm the head of the service. Uh, it was important for me to have a well organized and. Uh, uh, um, event and, you know, 
everybody will be able to uh, participate and uh, etc. And we have done some mistakes. For instance, there was no food for vegetarians, and I ha we have completely forgotten about it. And <laughs> this was a mistake. But uh, on, on the personal uh, uh, on the personal side, I have learned a lot. Uh, I have. Uh, had, you know, along the conversations, the inter, uh, interventions, the presentations, to go beyond my own understanding of uh, uh, the future. This is extremely interesting. From the Council of Europe perspective, I think uh, this type of exchange that is not, uh, you know, vertical, but uh, we have provided with its riders the r room for you people to exchange among yourselves. And this was the first experience for the Council of Europe to have an interactive platform and not seeking answers for our problems or you know, uh, uh, some support for the work we do, but we let you be yourselves. And what we are doing now is learning from that. Because, uh, uh, of course, we have to transform uh, these conversations in political tools. And I think this is the next step. Beyond uh, edge riders could be a very flexible tool to engage a conversation in any other subject that matters at the Council of Europe because mostly we deal with the dignity of the people. And I think the only way to go through this complexity of you know, living in dignity and recognizing it, uh, it as a right for everybody is talking to the citizens. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I think, do, do you have something else maybe you want to add or, I mean, it's, it's pretty, um, Rich already, what what you said, um, like feedback to edge, edge riders, and I think we we can just a a end here uh, unless you want to add something. <laughs>